All right, here we go. End of the week, extra time. Uh, Hallie. It's the beginning of the Shaka. week. Is it beginning or end? It's Sunday. Sunday is the first day of the week. All right. For song. Okay, Shaq. This is the one. This is the thing that you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is the thing that you're gonna get passionate about. According to the Geneva Convention, (laughs) the IFAB rules suggest. Sunday is the first day of the week. This is the one thing you're gonna get angry about. (laughs) Come on. I'm serious about my days of the week. (laughs) Thanks as always for your questions. Gab is here to help answer some of them as well. Um, Jamie, do you see any challenges to Man City and Liverpool in England, not just this year, but for the next two or three years? Suggests Jamie. No? I mean, no. No. Shake your head. It, it, I mean, that's it, a long time. In yeah, yeah, two, two, or, two years. or three years, who knows? But but this year, no. Yeah. No, no. no it's not even close. No. They, they, Liverpool. They, they look further, further yeah. away. Yes. Yeah. Everyone. And, and the more that the other teams play, the further away they look. Yeah. Yeah, the interesting thing I read about... Uh, oh, go, oh, go, go on, Gab. Gab. Oh, here we go. Before I get to my okay. interesting thing. Oh. Go on. It's a hypothetical, but yeah. if Spurs had extended and sorted out Alder Weirel's contract and Christian Eriksen's contract. I think they could have given them a, a, a run for their money. Maybe not both of them, but maybe one of them. They could have they could have closed the gap somehow, worked towards the gap, made it a three-way race. I don't know. Mm. But given the situation we're in, and obviously the horrendous start in terms of performances kind of shows this, mm. no, it's the two of them. Okay, so what the, was the, the interesting thing? thing. Okay. No, I, I read this. I, I, you may not find this interesting. But oh, got, no, 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 now. You can't, yeah, you can't now, put it out there I can't, and I can't offer a disclaimer. Wait. The drama is killing me. But after three weeks in the English Premier League, every team except Watford has at least three points. And that hasn't happened since 1981. That this many teams have at least a week. So uh, what I'm suggesting is... You were right, is, you were right. <laughs> I may not find this interesting. No, but it's... It, to me, that's noteworthy because it suggests, Gab, back me up. <laughs> does it, does yeah, it suggest yeah. a, a compression going on behind Liverpool and Man City that they're way ahead of everyone no, else? It no, it doesn't. No, <laughs> it, it doesn't. It, 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 it suggests a tiny sample size. Liverpool and City are far, far ahead of everybody else. And, and, I, and I'll tell you what, I mean, for all the talk of, of Everton and Wolves and, and Leicester breaking into the top six, you saw how putrid the teams that finished fifth and sixth were last season. And look at the gap that they had with the seventh place team, you know, who, who did really well. So, no, I, I don't think, I, I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint you. It's a wonderful mm. stat. I'm sure you had a, uh, you spent a lot of time researching it, looking up <laughs> no. the league tables after three matches every year since 1981. But, uh, no, wow. sorry. I tried. I tried. Uh, uh, Gap, gap. That was, that <laughs> was. Keep, keep hey, on doing it. You know what I like, though? Your spirit. I put it up yeah, there. Yeah, your keep spirit. Keep on doing it. Uh, gap, um, why has VAR been heavily misused in Serie A this weekend? Uh, is, is the next question. I'm assuming you're referring to primarily the uh, what happened in the uh, in the Napoli game, the Insignia penalty. Um, possibly also in the, um, not that this got a lot of attention, but in the, uh, in the Cagliari-Brescia game, yeah. um, there was, a, I thought, a really absurd um, uh, penalty given. Short answer is, I don't know, there's humans at the control and sometimes they get things right, sometimes they get things wrong. I mean, certainly the, the Insignia one is just, just utterly grotesque to me. Mm. Sorry, not, not Insignia, Mertens, I meant the, uh, the penalty that was given to that Meritans won for uh, for Napoli against Fiorentina. That Insigne took. Yes. I, I, that Insigne you, took. Yeah. You, you know what? I was interested about the Cagliari Brescia one. Mm. That one really. That was, <laughs> I, knew, I knew you were hey, going to jump Thanks for bringing that. it up, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> we needed filling in on the. Why are you laughing? Oh, God, I'm not laughing no, at no, all. You were laughing. I'm, I'm not laughing at all. You were laughing. I'm very serious yeah. about uh, the guy. About well, my when it comes VR. to. Yeah. <laughs> Back. Very sensitive about this subject. <laughs> Back to the Premier League. I, I think Gab already actually touched upon this. Uh, is Spurs a top four side without Christian Eriksen? Yes. They are. Yeah. Yes. Any doubts, Ali? Uh, Any doubts? Um, it, it wouldn't be so much about Spurs as much as it is about some of the other teams mm-hmm. around yeah. that around that group of, 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 of teams in terms of Chelsea, Arsenal, Manchester United, they got their own issues going on as well. So, mm. 
you can make an argument about Ericsson, but you can make an argument about everything else going wrong for, for all the other teams. So yeah, I still think that Spurs finished up fourth, even Cap. without Ericsson. Cap? Uh, what they said, it depends, you know, which one of these other sides doesn't, mm -hmm. uh, you know, actually gets their act together and, and, and pushes on. I, I thought at the end of last season that there was a, a pretty large gap. Um, and then, you know, we'll see what Emery can do, what Solskjaer can do, and what what Frank Lampard can do. But um, if I may, on a, on a serious note, flag something up that happened today in Serie A, which, which I think was, 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 was very moving. Um, uh, Bologna, of course, coached by Sinisa Mihailovic. He was uh, diagnosed with, uh, with leukemia, started treatment, uh, I think, around about a month ago. He's supposed to be in hospital getting his treatment. Instead, really out of the blue, only confirmed a couple hours before kickoff, decided to, uh, decided to show up at the game and, and coach from the sidelines, even though medically he was advised not to. Afterwards, he returned to the hospital. Um, and obviously a lot of applause and, and a lot of support and, and well wishers um, all around for, uh, for, for, for a guy who's obviously facing a very difficult time right now. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's quite a story. Yeah, and I'm just gonna take the perspective of the doctor. You know, they're, they're, they're watching the game at home. Wait a minute, isn't that our patient? <laughs> what? What's he doing here? <laughs> it's great to see that the guy is, one yeah. is that passionate about his job, right. and, 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 and but but his recovery right. should be the priority. But but <laughs> but to that point, sometimes that can be you know the best treatment. Yeah. Just getting yeah. back into right. what you know and love, and just yep. escaping some of the uh, realities of of a, of a hospital room. Yeah. Um, back to the Premier League. Biggest, that was a smooth transition. Big, there. Biggest surprise. Uh, there were two big surprises. Two big home defeats. Palace beating Man United or Newcastle. Going to big Spurs, what was the most unexpected? Newcastle. Newcastle to, to beat in Spurs. Because of what was the biggest surprise? Would... Before this weekend, I mean, let's be honest, Bruce was already under pressure. Yeah. I'm already thinking that Newcastle are in for a relegation fight. I know, listen, I know it's only one game, but all yeah. of a sudden it gives Newcastle and that team a, a whole lot of confidence. Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, you kind of think that. Manchester United did have a bad performance and bad result in them. Mm. Just yeah. didn't see that from Spurs. Newcastle. That was more surprising. No yeah. doubt about it. Yeah. yeah. Gab, you, you agree? 100%. Uh, and yeah. uh, not least, you know, for the reasons the boys mentioned, but, but also United didn't play particularly well at all. But, you know, enough things went against them and enough breaks went the other way. I mean, that game, I thought, you know, could have gone in both directions. Um, but, you know, Spurs at home, uh, I, I just thought it was a poor performance, poor decisions, poor all round. Yeah. Finally, Simi. Mm -hmm. Simi, would you rather have uh, Hazard or Griezmann? Ooh. Wow, what a question that is. Ooh. All right, Simi. I see yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's I'm going to go Griezmann. Oh, yeah. Okay. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I know you had to make a choice. Um... Defend that choice. Yeah. No, no, I'm, no, I'm second guessing that choice. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right. He looked pretty good today. He did. Yeah. So it was an easy answer today. <laughs> it was an e easy answer today. Today your answer is Griezmann. Tomorrow, it could be different. I don't well, know. I'll be honest. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to take Eden Hasser. I don't think yep. there's a player in the world that mm -hmm. is better than Eden Hasser in 1v1 situations in short spaces. Right and he can break people down and, and, and win those 1v1 situations There's nobody, whenever he wants nobody to. Nobody in the world better than Hazard than that? I better. That's, mm. that's strong. I better. All right. That's strong. Thanks for Maybe your questions. Level, uh, but not better. We'll be back with uh, more tomorrow if we can get Shaka away from the company picnic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.